welcome along. And if you like that introduction, stick a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're new around here. Okay, so because today we're going to be looking at these. This is a pair of wired or wireless headphones. They're the V07W Surround Sound 2.4G wireless headphone from Easy SMX. Now I'm going to do a full review on this now, but if you want to go and have a look at it, go and have a look in the links below. I've sent a link down there so you can go and have a look for yourself, but do stick around because we're going to do a full review of this. So I've had these for a couple of weeks now and I've been using them thoroughly and they are right up there. I've done a lot of headphones and they are right up there in the price point of where these sit. Fantastic. So we're going to start off with build quality. So when you first get them, they're a hefty piece. They really are. They're 350 grams and they're not too heavy sat on the head. Really nice. But look at them. They're massive. They're brilliant. So I don't know if you remember the last kind of last generation where headphones started to get big in, in, in the world and they used to have the, the coiled cable that you could sit 15 meters away with, with it wired into the old kind of old school amplifiers. They had big old headphones, proper old school ones. They really remind me of them. Big old school headphones. Love it. Absolutely love it. And it's predominantly plastic. There is some metal here under the headband for when it gets a bit, but that's going to end up the most amount of stress and use, I'd say. So that's nice to, to be metal. And there's some faux leather on the headband and the ear cups. We'll talk about comfort later, but for the moment, it's kind of faux leather there and there and on the top. And then as you can see, there's this nice white stitching over the top to set it off. So build quality really good. It doesn't feel like it's gonna snap or break anytime soon. Really, really nice. So next up, we're gonna talk about some of the features. Uh, the main feature for me has got LEDs. I love some LEDs. Okay, so the LEDs light up around there. They, are, they aren't hugely bright, but that kind of saves on battery. So give and take a little bit, swings and roundabouts. Okay, and the way it, you can light them up is there's a special button on here for the LEDs. Uh, I'll do a quick test. Now with these, they've got to be in wireless mode for it to be LEDs, okay? So let me just plug this in. There we go. So I've just plugged the dongle into my iPad hub. So that will fire them up. And then when I turn them on, there you go, I can turn the LED on and it flashes and it goes, rotates all the different colors. So you have an LED button there and it just turns it on and off. But as I said, it's got to be in wireless mode. So you have to use the dongle. It doesn't work when you're doing it in wired. And we have all the different colors. And that's on both earphones. Love it. So if I pull the dongle out, there you go, it switches off. Okay. As I said, it is wireless and it is wired as well. So you plug your 3.5 millimeter into this bit here, into the left cup, and that'll go into whatever wired thing you want to use. This is for your microphone, we'll talk about that in a bit. This is the volume up and down, and this is your mute. So really easy to find them on your thumb. When you've got them on, dead easy to find the mute and the volume because of this old school massive headset. And then on the right cup, we have, as we've seen, the LED button there and the power and the micro USB for charging. And there we go, it's flashing one there so we know we've got around 25% worth of battery. So speaking of battery, it's got an 800 mAh battery and that will last you around around eight hours worth of play, so a decent amount and it will take a couple of hours to charge, two, two and a half hours to charge, but really I've never had this run flat on me um, because every couple of days I just stuck it on charge for a bit and a couple of hours you're gonna get full charge out of it, what? So, and um, eight hours worth of play, I think that's pretty, pretty decent. And then obviously with wired, go for as, as long as you need. Um, with this, it works on pretty much everything I've plugged this into. Uh, it works for the iPad. So I had my iPad hooked up to a, a hub and I plugged that into the hub and I was having the music through this. I played this on the PS4 and it worked fine. I've had this on the PS5 and it works fine. I've had this on the Switch. So when the Switch, you just stick it into the side of your dock and the, the sound was coming through, not a problem at all. And also it works on uh, PCs as well. So you can just shove that into a USB and if you can send you a, um, sound through your USB on your PC, that will work, not a problem. And in with Xbox, it has to be wired. So that's the only thing. The only thing that can't be wireless is Xbox. So you need to shove the, um, the 3.5 millimeter cable into there and into your Xbox controller. 
And if you ever do run out of battery, like I've been doing playing on the Switch, I was playing it docked, run out of battery, either plug the 3.5 millimeter into the top of that docked, or as you're playing handheld, plug it in there and it works with this. So loads and loads of options. It doesn't say much about, so in the instruction manual we showed you in the unboxing, it doesn't actually say anything about the switch being wireless, but I've tested it and it can. You can have it on the, um, just plug the dongle into the dock and away you go. Okay, so as you're saying about an eight hour playing session, you're gonna need some new comfort. If you're gonna play it for eight hours, what's the comfort like? Brilliant. So this is fantastic. This is super, super soft really nice comfort and these are huge as you can see they're massive let's get my trusty tape measure out so we're looking at five centimeters wide by six centimeters high and two and a half centimeters deep they're huge ear cups and they're super comfy as well i wouldn't have any problem holding wearing these for a, a long gaming session they're a kind of like a closed cup design, which means it kind of keeps the sound in. There wasn't much sound bleed at all. And when I had them on, it wasn't like noise cancelling, but there was enough separation that I could I could hear a little bit of the outside, but but not not really much. And these ear cups, they do move a little bit. They don't move all the way around, so the most they can move is that and up and down a little bit. So you're going to find yourself a decent decent position for your ear and for your for all different head sizes and um, I've got an average size adult head and I was having it a, a little bit a little bit longer either side so I'm saying if you I reckon kids could fit in that or if you've got a massive head loads and loads of adjustment okay so another thing that's really important is sound quality I tested it on wired and wireless and I'll be honest with you I didn't really tell much difference at all if you're going to use it wired, you're going to get the 3D sound on the PS5. You will need to plug it into your controller, as with most headphones. You need, as with every headphone, sorry, you need to plug it into the controller unless you're using the official PlayStation 5 headset to get the, the um, Sony 3D sound. But other than that, this they sound brilliant. It's quite bass heavy. I mean, I was comparing this to my um, DT990s and they, uh, it's a bit unfair because it's a 600 pounds wired setup I've got there, but these were really, really good. They're quite bass heavy. I think you'll enjoy the sound of them. I could definitely hear the separation for the highs, mids and lows. Superb. But when I tested them on Overwatch and Call of Duty, I didn't have a problem at all isolating where they were because it's 7.1 surround sound on here. So when you're having it in the dongle, it was brilliant. Really, really good separation and you really could tell where they were coming from. So I was really pleased with that. And then also, I also did a microphone test as well. So as we saw in the unboxing, here we go. Here is the microphone and that plugs into here. And I went on to my PlayStation and I sent a message uh, via voice chat in here. And what I did purposefully is I got my kids behind me, stood behind me, only probably six feet away to talk continually all the way through it, playing Rocket League. And as they were doing that, I recorded my voice just so you can hear kind of like some background noise to it. So let me know, we've got um, 15 seconds worth of voice chat here. Hello, this is Console and Tech Accessories and I'm using the Easy SMX VO7W headphones. This is a microphone test that I'm running via voice chat message sent from a Sony PlayStation 5. There's some ambient noise in the room. How does it sound? So let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of that. For me, brilliant. Okay, crystal clear. Everyone on the voice chat could hear me. And I could, I could hear them, but that's obviously depending on their mic. But for terms of this mic, it was brilliant. You have this kind of like, this windsock here, you can put this on if you want to. I left it on just to stop the tss and the pss getting in the way. And it was fantastic. Really impressed by this mic. And the fact that it's removable, because a lot of my gaming I don't use a mic. So I was just able to whip it off. And then if I needed to, it went straight back in like that. Easy as you like and bendable as well. So you can put it where you want. And as we saw, the mute is so easy to find on there. Really pleased with that mic. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. This, this is the V07W headphones from Easy Smack. As I said, I'll leave a link below to where you can get it. But you're looking at around $56-ish. 
and around £40 to get that, to get these. And at that price point, they're brilliant. Proper old school looking headphones with some nice LED touches and a lot of features that you need, wireless and wired. And I'm saying you can connect to most things with that. Excellent. An excellent, excellent headset. I definitely think you should go and have a look at. Okay, as I said before, do stick a thumbs up, do like, do subscribe if you are new around here. I would really, really appreciate it. This has been my look at this wires or wired headphones for Easy SMX. And until the next video, bye bye.